Hi everybody, it's Wendy again. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite shampoos and these are my favorites especially going into the winter months where your scalp and your hair is feeling a little dry. Uh, the skin's getting a little dry, everything's getting a little dry, you got the heat on in the house and the car so of course you have to um, you have to nourish everything just a little bit more. So to start off with, I'm going to share with you um, an excellent everyday shampoo. It's excellent for all hair types. But if you notice that in the winter months, you get the heat on in the house, you get the heat on in the car, skin's getting a little dry, and you notice you're getting a little bit of like white flaking and you've never had that before, your skin's just dry, baby. It's not, you know any other major condition it might be but I think if it's just light loose flakes it's dry scalp I do not want you to run to the pharmacy and get head and shoulders because what that does is it basically removes the top layer of skin it's not going to alleviate any problems it's not going to moisturize your scalp just stay away from it okay all right, give me a call if you have any questions or anything, or you know, find me on Twitter at Wendy O Salon. But what I have for you, I've got two shampoos that are excellent for any sort of flaking issue. Now, the first one is the Daily Care Treatment Shampoo. It used to be called the Biohoba Shampoo by Joico. It has jojoba oil and biotin in it, and that's excellent for any sort of scalp irritations and whatnot. It moisturizes the scalp. So you shampoo, it's excellent for all hair types, even color treated hair, and it's very light, has a nice herbal scent to it. I, I like this stuff a lot. I get this in the big container for home, especially in the winter because, you know, we get a little more, a little more dry. So um, another thing that you could do on a side note is um, I notice like omega-3s or, you know, the fish oil pills, you can start taking that and kind of moisturize from the inside out. So it's just a little side note there. But um, actually, if you go to my website, windyosalon.com, I have a blog about you are what you eat, and there's a whole easy list to follow of different uh, vitamins and minerals that can help improve the health of your scalp and your hair. So go to that. As soon as you're done watching this, educate yourself. So like I said, shampoo, leave it on like about two minutes. You will notice after the first shampoo, that you don't have flakes. I'm not going to guarantee you anything, but that's what everybody that I recommend this to notices. Now, if you have a slightly more serious itching scalp condition and it might be more year-round, I suggest using the Tea Tree Shampoo by Paul Mitchell. It's a classic. It has that classic minty smell, that pemperminty smell. It's so awesome, and sometimes it's just nice. Just like maybe once a week, do a deep cleansing with it. And, um, but I have other deep cleansers that I, want, that I want to get to. So the Tea Tree Shampoo, Melaleuca is a natural anesthetic. Not, a na not an anesthetic, antiseptic. <laughs> I don't want to knock anybody out. Yes, my shampoos are very relaxing at the sink, but I'm not rendering anybody unconscious, so be careful, all right? <laughs> don't perform any surgery with your Tea Tree Shampoo. Okay. So I've made a fool of myself enough this morning. It's early. I've only had one cup of coffee, so leave me be. Be nice. You can leave a funny comment if you want. Anyway, so it helps with any sort of... Um, there is actually a fungus that will grow on your scalp. Usually it's in preteens or people that just don't wash their hair enough or well enough. And, um, it, you know, it could be hereditary as well that you're just prone to this uh, condition. And that's where you get the flakes that kind of stick together and that makes the makes dandruff. But I noticed that, you know, if you know any preteens or teenagers and they've got that issue, they need to wash their hair just a little bit more and use the tea tree shampoo. And, um, and I have that here. Give me a call. Hold on. I have something on my, popped up on my screen, so that's probably going to look a little weird. <laughs> Stop with those push notifications. Okay. So, oh, like I said, deep cleansing. Um, two very classic shampoos by Paul Mitchell. You have the Shampoo 2, which is excellent for removing just hair product buildup, okay? You use a lot of hairspray, you use a lot of mousse, you change up your, your hair products during the week. Once a week, maybe even twice a week, give yourself a deep cleansing treatment. The Shampoo 2, I want to make sure I was holding up the right bottle. Shampoo 2 by Paul Mitchell. 
has a nice uh, citrusy scent. So that is excellent for cosmetic buildup, which is products, hairsprays, you know, uh, mousses, gels, whatever. So once a week, you give yourself that squeaky clean feeling. Now, another deep cleansing shampoo, some people get them confused, is the Shampoo 3. Now, the Shampoo 3 is excellent for more of like a mineral buildup, chlorine, if you will. So you're going swimming, you shampoo with the Shampoo 3. Maybe in the summertime, you use this once a week. Or if you have hard water or a lot of minerals in your water, use this once a week. Sometimes I mix the two together, make a little hair cocktail in the shower, you know what I'm saying? So you mix the two together, you give yourself like a weekly deep cleansing treatment and your hair is, it, actually you'll notice your hair being shinier. A lot of people think that, oh my hair is so dull, I need to condition. Well, you know, if you're putting conditioner on top of hairspray buildup, it's not really going to, first of all, it's not really going to penetrate very well. And second of all, it's, um, it's not going to give you that shine that you want. Sometimes you need to remove and strip away all the buildup that you've accumulated during the week. And um, so, uh, so there's that. So once again, you can tweet me with any questions at Wendy O Salon. Um, or you can find us on Facebook. You ask me questions there. It's great. Or you can leave some, some questions in the, in the comment section here on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, last but certainly not least, my absolute favorite. Now, once again, I never guarantee anything, but everybody that I've recommended this product to notices that their color fades less between visits. It's the Color Endure Shampoo by Joico. Now, it, it, is, um, it has UV protectants in it, it actually has a smaller shampoo molecule, so when it goes in to, what happens is the shampoo has a molecule, goes in and attaches to dirt and oil and whatnot in the hair. So, um, so when it, it, it pulls out, it sometimes leaves a big gaping hole and your artificial pigment comes out and that's what causes fading from shampoo. So once again, put down the head and shoulders, it's going to kill your color, okay? Call me, I know what I'm talking about. So this actually is a smaller shampoo molecule. So when it goes in, it attaches to oil and dirt and stuff very successfully, I might add. So don't, you're not getting any less clean because of it. It's not going to leave a, leave a big gaping hole for your artificial pigment to escape. So, um, and, it's, and it's actually, you know, it's good for, you know, if you buy a big bottle of that, which actually I just got, a, got huge bottles in for, uh, for Christmas for gifts for people. And sometimes people just like to buy in bulk, which is, which is terrific. You know, you could get something like that for the, you have color treated hair, but you know, other people in the family do not. It's okay if you don't have color treated hair. It's just a moisturizing shampoo, but it's lightly moisturizing. So if you, you know, if you have color treated hair and you've got, you know, a couple of kids in the house, you want to get the big shampoo, it's fine for the whole family to, to share. And sometimes I know some women, they like to hide their shampoo so their kids aren't using their shampoo. So whatever you want to do, I don't care. But like I said, I now have the huge bottles available here now, and they, they go very fast, so just to let you know. So that's basically a roundup of the favorite shampoos, a short list that I've compiled for you. And um, like I said, follow me on uh, Twitter, at Wendy O Salon, like us on Facebook, and you know, you can find some interesting facts on there. You could go to my website right now, or not right now, wait till the video is over, and then go right now. To my website, I've got a blog about um, what you can eat to just stay healthy anyway, but more specifically for your scalp and hair. Now, am I forgetting anything? No, I think I'm good. Okay, so thank you again for watching, and uh, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.